Lindsay here to find the mixes of our new album, which is coming out within a couple of months. So here yeah, the treat started around 2006, 7. Um, Adrian and Chris decided to keep playing together after Lumiere split up. And shortly after Lisa joined and Matthew, after they tried a few other bassists, I think which didn't work out. And um, they wrote a bunch of songs within a few weeks. Um, since the split of Lumiere, the previous band, they practically went live. And the, the first gig I heard of uh, Rio La Cheat was like, blew me away because I don't know, they had so much energy at the time. And Lisa's vocals were really different sounding to most other bands as well. You know, from the first time I heard them, I just made a point to go to every other gig they played. I mean, they caught the attention of a Belgian label, Kinky Star. And they distributed their album in, in Belgium and they even went on a mini tour in Belgium, which went really well. Um, then right after they got back, they started writing new stuff for the, for the album, Pleasure Machines. This was in 2009. And... The style was evolving, you know, Adrian was trying different uh, tunings, different pedals, different guitars, and I'd say it's got a bit more deep. After recording Pleasure Machines, they decided to go on another tour. But um, Matthew, the, the previous bassist, had other commitments, unfortunately, and they they approached me. Um, but right after that tour, we started um, writing new songs for the next album, which would be this album coming out. Um, so despite practicing for the gigs, promoting that album, we already had new material in the garage, like, getting ready. Um, shortly after, in, um, well not shortly after, it was quite a while after, in 2011, we um, released the album, the Pleasure Machines. That's a really um, stuffy and really cool gig. It was sold out. It was in this big uh, old wooden boat, which was once used for a movie. And it was really cool.
police actually stopped us because we were making too much noise. I hope we find a venue for our lunch because we haven't decided on a venue yet. I mean, it won't be in summer so we can't go outdoors. And it can't be too small because if it's too small to end up like our other lunch where we had an overcrowding of people and it was crazy. I mean, okay, it was cool but <laughs> could have been a bit bigger, I think. Yeah, so that's pretty much future for now, short term. Can't see for very long term. I think very long term we're just going hibernation mode again and just make new songs. Just <laughs> what what we just love to do.